I spent so much money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jackie and thank you for watching. So today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a Ulta haul. This is everything I bought during the 21 Days of Beauty sale that just ended like a few days ago. Whoa. <gasps> just gonna haul everything I got and um, cry about how much money I spent because I have no self-control. If you wanna see what I bought at Ulta, then just keep on watching. So some stuff I bought online and some stuff I went in store to buy. Um, when it's sales like like lipsticks are on sale, I usually like to just buy online because the people in the store are like really psycho about like you can only buy two. I'm like, well, I can buy like all of them online, so I'm just gonna take my business there. So the first thing I bought wasn't exactly a part of the sale, but they do like the hot buys, so. You know, they have like certain items on sale for 50% off every single day. And then they have other items in store that are up to 40% off throughout the entire um, sale. So this was a hot buy. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. It's a contour, color correct, and highlighting palette. Um, and this is in late medium shift. And then they have like... A dark shift I forget what it's called but this is the packaging and it opens up like this and it's double-sided you have like the mirror in the middle so one side is your powder um, contours and highlights this is like a dark bronzer your late contour shade it's kind of like a like a cream banana setting powder type thing and then um, kind of like a pinkish champagne highlight and then on the other side, you have your cream bronzer, um, like a cream concealer, a cream orange color corrector, and a, which is good for like canceling out like dark under eye circles. And then a cream um, pink corrector, which is good for brightening up under the eyes. Whoops. And then a cream highlight. So I've been wanting to try this since it came out, but it was it's kind of expensive. It's like 40 something dollars. And I have so many contour palettes. I like that this is magnetic too, by the way. I actually tried it out today. It's like the contour and highlight I have on today. And I really like it. Um, it's super pigmented though. So it's you really have to be light-handed with these bronzers, which is the mistake I made. This is actually the um eyeshadow palette that's on my eyes today so i'll zoom you in so you can see this is the persona identity palette i've been wanting this for so long but i'm gonna be honest this is the outside packaging this is the inside um this is like a 30 something 35 36 dollar palette and it's a little basic for that price um, so I was really, I've always wanted it still, but I just, and it's been in my bag a million times before, and then I just end up not getting it, because I'm like, I can't drop that money on something that, like, I have in other palettes, but then, you know, it was 50% off, so it was only, like, $16 with the sale. Um, but the quality shadows are really, really good, easily blendable. All these shimmer shades are mind-blowing. I used seductive all over the lid i used maverick in the crease um i used chick kind of on the outer corners i used fearless on the lower lash line and sassy on uh, to highlight my brow bone and inner corners and then humble to set everything so these are super creamy super blendable super pigmented shadows like really good quality um the only thing i wish was there was like a lighter transition shade in here so this wasn't exactly part of the sale but they had like a specific sale going on with this and i know i know this product has a lot of controversy around it um it's the tarte shape tape foundation i got the matte obviously because like i've said a million times i have oily skin and i'm constantly on the hunt for a really good matte foundation let me zoom you out again because I forgot. I've been wanting to try this and I held off buying it for a while because I'm like, Tarte, you need to like get your life together first. Like, I don't, 
I don't agree with them. I think they should have 100% waited until they had all the shades ready. For such a hyped up foundation, you shouldn't have rushed that. And to be honest, <laughs> whoever was in charge of making this foundation, like the shades and everything, whoever was in charge of the PR for this product, hopefully they're fired because just the way they handled everything too was more upsetting than anything, I think. I just wanted to try the matte foundation to see if it worked for um, such oily skin as mine. And it does, it works really well actually. Like it is super full coverage. It stays matte all day. I don't really find myself having to blot this too much. And it blends out really nice. Um, the packaging is basically just a larger um, version of the concealer. And what I really like about this is that it has like a doe foot applicator. I love foundations that are like this. The Clinique one is like that as well. And I got the shade Light Neutral. Um, this definitely does oxidize. I'll say that because when I first put it on, it looks a little too light, but then like as I continue doing my makeup, it darkens to like exactly my exact skin tone. So the sale that was going on with this was, you buy the Shape Tape Foundation, you get the Shape Tape Concealer also by Tarte for $15 and this is normally like a $28, $29 concealer and I was running out of mine so I'm like I need to take advantage of that because I want to try the foundation and I need a new concealer. So I also got the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I did try this today and I actually really like it. Um, I have no idea how it is with flashback um, because it is white but it sets everything like really well. Um, sometimes with setting powders, I'll notice like my concealer breaking up. So I put this on over top of the Shape Tape concealer and you know, applied really well, wiped away really nice without breaking up everything. Um, I sort of baked with it, not nothing too crazy though, but yeah, I mean, I just needed, I was running out of loose setting powder, so I thought I might as well try that one. I haven't really heard much about it. It's, I have, like, a ton of primers. So, first I got the Dr. Brandt uh, Pores No More Primer. I've been wanting to try this for years, but it's $45, so... Got it while it was on sale, 50% off, and I'm wearing it today, and I will say that this did not agree with the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. It was breaking up like crazy and I've used this before with different primers so I know it's not the foundation. So these don't get along very well. I actually, I still put this on and I just use my Maybelline 24 hour um, long wear, whatever it's called, foundation. And um, those two got along a lot better. But this has a pump and um when i first put this on like you can notice like the smoothing effect it has and i have crater pores so this was really impressive how well this worked two other primers i got were the becca first light priming filter this is like the purple one that's supposed to make you look more awake in the morning and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I know you're probably thinking like, I'm always talking about my oily skin, why would I buy this? But let me tell you, this mixed with the Smashbox, um, Smashbox Primer, the pore smoothing one. Ugh! Oh my God. This Becca Primer mixed with the Smashbox, like pore smoothing primer is amazing. So I just wanted to get these while they're on sale. I probably won't use them throughout the summer, but I'll bring them back out in the winter. Because, you know, in the winter I still do kind of get dry skin, but it's just not as bad. Oh, I also got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I had had a sample of this, so I knew I liked it. I will say, what I don't like about this is the packaging, because look at how clunky this is. It's just like a white translucent setting powder, but like, why is this packaging so huge? It has like this little sponge in here that I'm gonna throw away. It has a mirror. 
Like I, oh, I hate packaging like this. An Urban Decay Single Shadow in the shade Polyester Bride. Um, I had seen, I don't really like to buy single shadows like this because it takes up a lot of space in my vanity that I need, would rather have for other things. But the shade, I've seen it, someone use it in a YouTube video once and it's just like a really pretty highlighting color. I don't know if you can see that, but. I don't know, this is just like good to have um, to like highlight either all over the lid. I'm sure you can use this on your face too. Um, I see myself using this more as an inner corner and brow bone highlights. So. I just got a Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is just like your basic brow gel because I actually use this now um, and I was running out of it. So I just thought I'd repurchase while it's on sale. I got two Buxom full on lip creams in the shade pink champagne so let's watch that one i have like almost all of these um these are like my favorite lip glosses so this is pink champagne and then this one i also got peach daiquiri this one is a really nice summer color you definitely can't see that but it does have like a little bit of an orange tint to it but they're still like nudes and super wearable so that's what i look for in a lip gloss and last i got four Too faced melted matte lipsticks um i have a couple of these already so i already know that i love the formula um so I just wanted to take advantage of the sale while they were $10 and get some more. So first, this one is Holy Chick. Holy Chick? Holy Chick? I don't know. This is just like a really nice pinky nude. This one is Feeling Myself. I thought this would be fun for summer and it's something that's definitely out of my comfort zone. It's like a bright coral pink this one is cool girl this one is just another um nude more of like a brown toned darker nude then this one is lady balls and it's just a really vibrant bright red So this is Lady Balls, Holy Chick, <laughs> Feeling Myself, and Cool Girl. So that's everything I got during the 21 Days of Beauty Ulta sale. Thank you so much for watching. Leave down below in the comments if you picked up anything during the sale and what you got. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.